In three weeks and three days, Tasmania will reopen to all Australian states and territories, including coronavirus hotspots. We're pre as prepared as we possibly can be for the 15th, uh, but the fact is COVID is coming here. When that happens, it's Tasmania's tourism, hospitality and retail workers who will be on the front line. For a state that hasn't had to live with COVID for so long, uh, it almost feels like we're going a bit backwards um, with practices and restrictions and that sort of thing. While the state government made it compulsory for health, disability and aged care workers to be vaccinated against COVID-19, it has left it up to individual businesses to decide whether to introduce a vaccine mandate for employees. There are certainly some businesses that have said to me that it would be easier for them if government just said that everyone had to be vaccinated, but realistically that's just not fair and I'm not a supporter of everyone having to be vaccinated. I certainly am, but again I think it's up to individuals to make that choice. The state government has ruled out adopting Victoria's approach of mandating vaccines for a large number of industries. Instead, it's relying on business owners to do their own risk assessments. Businesses are doing uh, WHS tests all the time and checks all the time, and that's just a part of daily business. So it isn't unusual for businesses to take more things into account with their WHS tests. Vaccine debate isn't quite the same as ensuring that you've got work safe practices in place like social distancing and sanitizer and uh, sick leave policies and that sort of thing. Well, the onus will be on employers to decide whether to make vaccines mandatory. Lawyers say some businesses could still be liable if unvaccinated workers spread COVID-19 to a customer or a colleague. If the answer is that there is a reasonable risk of transmission, you have a duty to do something about it. And, and that duty would extend to ensuring that your employees are vaccinated, otherwise they can't work in that environment. Leaving businesses with three weeks to decide. Liz Gwynn, ABC News.